You are welcome once again, my friends, to our series on friendship this week. In our episode today, we are looking at something on wrong friends. As we know, these are excerpts from my book, Who is Your Friend? They are excerpts from my book, Who is Your Friend? And in our episode today, we are looking at this. Wrong friends will make you believe in things and beings which do not correspond to your faith in God. Dr. Mike Middock says this. Satan's favorite entry point into your life will always be through someone close to you. Which friend have you chosen so close to you? Friendship, as we know, is the greatest place of influence in every relationship. Friendship has inherent dynamic powers of influence that can completely change a person's life from either good to bad or bad to good positive to negative or negative to positive. As a matter of fact, you cannot be in friendship and become absolutely insulated from its powers of influence. Every friendship you enter will impact your life in one way or the other. It is very crucial, brothers, for us to note that as powerful as friendships are, they cannot impact our lives unless we access them. That is to say that the only friendships that could impact you are the ones resident in your life. Take a couple of seconds and meditate on this. Now let's look at wrong friends. Wrong friends. Some few indicators about wrong friends to help us understand who they really are. Wrong friends are contagious. Wrong friends are both destructive and destructive. Wrong friends diminish your faith in God. Wrong friends dilute your focus on your dreams. Wrong friends dissipate your energy for success. Wrong friends decrease your passion for progress. Brothers, you cannot arrive at your destiny with the presence of wrong friends. No matter how hard you try to reach your destiny, when there is a wrong friend in your life, you will never make significant progress. They will waste your time, distract your focus, and deplete all your precious resources. This is why when the sailors were on board with Jonah, no matter how hard they said, they never made significant progress. But the moment they cast Jonah from their presence, they safely got to their destination. That is why Dr. Mike Mudok says this to us, that when wrong people leave your life, wrong things stop happening. When right people come into your life, the right things begin to take place or begin to happen. That's why Jesus Christ chose to surround himself with the right friends. The Pharisees were wrong to his destiny, but Peter, John, and James, and the rest of the disciples were right to his destiny. At one point, the Bible says this about Jesus, or Jesus Christ told his disciples this particular statement. This is what he said. Jesus told them, Hereafter, I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me. The prince of this world cometh and has nothing in me. This means Satan came to inspect the life of Jesus to see if he could find any wrong thing in him that could become a catalyst for hindering the fulfillment of his dream. But he found nothing. Brothers, if Satan should come on inspection in your life today, will he find a wrong friend to use to destroy you? Will you find a wrong habit, a wrong character, or any wrong behavior that will be used to destroy you? Remember what Dr. Mike Middock said, that Satan's favorite entry point into your life will always be through someone close to you. Through the serpent, 
he cast or sacked Adam and Eve from the Garden of Eden. To Delilah, he destroyed Samson. To the foreign women, he made God to depart from King Solomon. Brothers, who is your friend? Which friends have you chosen so close to yourself? Are they right or wrong friends? Brethren, it is time for you to think through your friendships and take a critical look at the friends you bring into your life. You cannot be a Christian and have a junk of friends who are full of lust and immorality. That's wrong friendship. Light has no link with darkness. This week, make time and examine all your friendships. Remove all wrong friends from your life and embrace the right friends God brings into your life. And your life will be full of glory and success. May God bless you and give you the right friends. Once again, I'm John Arthur, the author of Who is Your Friend? And my book is available on Amazon. And I would recommend that you get a copy for yourself. And God will use it to make great impact in your life. Till we meet again, may you have a blessed week this week in Jesus' name. God bless you for joining us today on Friendship This Week. Bye.